Microsoft OneNote is arguably the most powerful note-taking application in the world. I'm gonna show you how it can integrate right into Zoom. Coming up next. I've used OneNote for years. It's literally a digital notebook uh, that allows me to not only take copious amounts of notes in whatever way I want. It's a digital notebook that you can also share with others in your organization. And I'm going to show you why that's important in one of the demos that we're going to do today. I think IT's job and the job of a CIO is to empower users to be as creative and as productive and as efficient as possible. And a lot of times is that's providing tools to make that happen. OneNote is certainly one of those options that is available in the Office Productivity suite of products from Microsoft. There are apps that do this. I've even seen people use their iPads to take notes. Be innovative, upskill your organization, allow them to be as powerful as they can be. And your job at IT, or it should be, to provide these tools to make this happen. Why this message is so important is I'm using two completely different companies to make one thing happen. And that thing is collaboration and communication. I'm using Zoom as a client from a communication and collaboration standpoint. And I'm using OneNote from Microsoft to allow users in the same org, even separate orgs, to share that collaboration vehicle, to share data across platforms. Okay, let's uh, let's get this demo demo environment set up here. All right, here's our demo client. This is the Zoom Team Chat client. We've also enabled SharePoint integration with Zoom Team Chat. And what that allows you to do is bring in Office 365 products inside of the Zoom Team Chat client. So imagine this workflow. You're inside of Zoom chatting with colleagues across your channels and you wanna set up a meeting to discuss a project. I don't know, a status meeting, it doesn't matter. You wanna basically set up a meeting with all your users in that channel and then share notes across that meeting. Here's how you do it. Today, we're in the SharePoint integration channel. It's named that because guess what? I've integrated SharePoint with this channel and I wanna invite everyone to a status meeting. So I go up to the very top, there's a calendar icon here. Guess what it does? That's right, it sets up a meeting. And we're gonna set up a SharePoint integration channel status meeting. And Zoom's already pre-populated everyone inside the channel as attendees of that meeting. So I don't even have to do that at all. It's already done for me. I'm gonna set that up from two to three. Let's just make it reoccurring every day for now. It's just an example. And the rest of the features, I'll just leave as default. So the meeting's been scheduled. Now, everyone inside of that meeting will now have a couple of things. They're gonna have that meeting right inside of their Zoom team chat client, but they've also been invited to that meeting via email and via Zoom. So they're going to see that invitation come in as well as see it on their calendar. Let's take a look. Right here is my Zoom calendar utilizing, by the way, Microsoft Exchange for the back end. I can see that daily meeting is now set up on my calendar. So now let's go to the Zoom mail client to see that invitation come in through email. There it is. I can literally open that invitation up. It came in through email, utilizing the power of Microsoft 365. But notice something very important that just happened there. I literally set up a meeting from the Zoom client. I checked my calendar from the Zoom client. I checked my email from the Zoom client. Why that's so powerful is that I just decreased content switching. I don't know, 300%? I just made that number up. I don't know. The point is I didn't have to leave the Zoom client to do any of that stuff. Email integration, calendar integration, task, meetings invitations. Increasing application affinity is a very powerful message here because keeping one user inside of the client as long as possible stops toggle tax, decreases context switching, increases application affinity. What this means to you as a CIO, maybe an IT administrator, is your users are happier. They're clicking less to do more. They're being more productive. They're being more effective. Okay, so now you've set up the meeting. You've invited all the participants of the channel to the meeting. They've all accepted the meeting. Now the next level of the workflow is this. You have a meeting. Who's keeping notes? Are you keeping notes? Is one person keeping notes and then email it to everybody? What if there's an easier way? What if you could open up OneNote and share OneNote across everyone in the channel? Let's do that next. So let's create a OneNote that we can share across the channel where we can take status meeting notes. We go to file, we go to OneNote. We're gonna say status meeting notes, save the file. So once we save the file, it opens up OneNote and we can begin our note taking process. So now we can have a section for meeting notes. Now we have a section for meeting notes for the date of March 9th, hit okay. It sets a tab for meeting notes for the day. Now we can take notes during the meeting right into OneDrive. Agenda, blah, 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 item one, item two, make Patrick work. I think you get the point. I can now take notes 
during the meeting inside of OneNote. So now everyone in the meeting has access to this file. I'm going to show you something even more cool. In the top right hand corner, you can see I'm logged in with a test user called Patrick at PK Fabrication. Let's switch accounts to another user and see what they see. So now we're logged in with a different user. This is admin at PK Fabrication. Guess what? Admin is part of this channel as well. You can see who's a member of the channel by just clicking the more actions button and seeing all the members of the channel. But more importantly, look what's in that channel. We sent that SharePoint uh, file to everyone in the channel. So let's open it up and see what's inside it. Amazing, it's the same content from what Patrick just put into it. That's because it's the exact same file. More importantly, I as an admin can look at this exact same file, all the meeting notes, and I can put my own notes in there, co-authoring with Patrick at the exact same time. So now let's open up both Zoom clients simultaneously. On the left is Patrick Kelly, on the right is MOD Administrator, and they're both part of the same SharePoint integration channel. So let's have them open up those status notes simultaneously. So Patrick's going to open up those status meeting notes on the left and MOD administrator is going to open those meetings notes up on the right. They're synchronized. So now let's pretend we're in the same meeting at the same time and we want to start taking notes and have those notes synchronized across these files, across two different computers, across two different users. Let's take an example. Add some new notes here. Look what's happening on the right side. Those notes are being synchronized real time with MOD administrator's notes and vice versa. I can do the same thing on the right side. The power of the synchronization is that anybody that's part of this channel, anybody that's part of this meeting can update notes and share them across the platform. Wow, so that's a super powerful message. The ability to create meetings from Zoom into a channel, the ability to see those meetings in your Zoom calendar and Zoom mail client, even though those clients are actually really exchange, the ability to see those calendar invites in your Zoom calendar, see those email invitations in your Zoom mail, because we're leveraging the power of Microsoft 365 Exchange to have all those reach feature sets sit in the Zoom client, the ability to create meeting notes from OneNote and then send them so to everyone in the channel, the ability for everyone to open up that file and simultaneously see the content in that file and co-author on that file real time, sharing those notes to everyone in that channel, lowering context switching, increasing application infinity, increasing productivity for your users, making your user experience better and richer using Zoom and Microsoft Office 365. If you like this video, follow me on LinkedIn or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have it in the description above. Or if you're watching it on YouTube, hit the subscribe button on the corner. I do work for Zoom. I am a Zoom distinguished architect. I am not a figurehead or spokesman for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology and a lot of times that has to deal with Zoom. Have a great day.